Good day, folks. I want to talk about horse training, horsemanship, horse knowledge. I know, same stuff I always talk about, but a little bit different context each time. And uh, like I said, I've said before in the past that, you know, horsemanship uh, is basically the knowledge of horses. You know, it's a good understanding of the horse. And I've also said that in a perfect world, um, we'd all train our own horses. But we don't live in a perfect world. And there's also lots of good, legitimate reasons for not training your own horse, too. And a lot of people uh, like to buy a made horse, one that's already been trained and been ridden and that sort of thing. Or they'll take a horse that they have and uh, take it to the trainers and have it trained for them. Now, that's going to happen. I'm not going to say that's a bad thing, depending on the circumstances. That might not be a bad idea at all. Of course, she can come see me. You also notice she stops at a respectful distance too. Uh, anyhow, uh, off topic. But you can't just get a horse that's you know been made or trained by somebody else, take it home, and expect to be able to just get on and ride it without a thorough knowledge and understanding of the animal in general, as well as specifically how that one's been trained and everything else. Uh, there's there's a lot more to it than just simply uh, having a, buying a horse that's already trained or having your horse trained and then thinking you should get on a ride. And now, uh, I was thinking about this the other day and it reminded me of a joke that my brother told many years ago. And although it was meant to be funny, if you think about it, there's, some, there, there's a real good lesson in it. So uh, I'm going to share it with you. Uh, it starts off, this, this goes back years ago, uh, when things like chainsaws were a relatively new invention. Now, uh, this guy, here comes my other one. <laughs> this is how you catch horses, by the way. Uh, this goes back, you know, years ago. Chainsaws relatively new. Uh, this guy, he had some land he wanted to clear. He had these trees that he wanted to uh, uh, cut down, and uh, he was going to cut them into firewood. He was going to make good use of them. But he was kind of getting tired of doing it by hand. He was using an axe and a box saw. And you know, a friend of my, a friend of his, told him, you know, yeah, you should get one of these newfangled chainsaws. You know, because it was taking him like all day to do six trees. You know, to fell and cut up six trees. So he thought, well, maybe. You know, how well do they work? Well, geez, you can you can uh, fell and cut up, oh, probably 20 trees a day with this thing. So he said, well, that, that sounds pretty good. So he goes down to the store where they sell them and asks the guy, he says, is it true? You know, can you actually, you know, fell and cut up 20 trees a day with one of these things? And he goes, oh, yeah, absolutely. No problem at all, I guarantee you. So the guy goes, okay, I'll buy one. He buys his brand new chainsaw, takes it home, uh, spends a day with it, goes back there the next day and says, hey, you know, this thing did not work worth a darn. It took me an entire day to fell and cut up two trees. And the guy's like, wow, that's not right. Well, let's uh, check this out, see if maybe there's something wrong with this one. He says, let's take it out back and give her a test, see. So he takes the thing out back, fires her up, revs it up a few times, seems to be running really fine. All of a sudden the guy goes, hey, what's all that noise the thing's making? Well, you know, that was meant to be funny, but the fact of the matter is the guy bought something, had absolutely no idea how it worked, he knew nothing about it and thought he was going to use it. And, you know, the same thing happens with, uh, you know, with horses. And I've said many times, uh, I think that uh, the human needs the education just as bad as the horse does. And uh, trying to help a horse uh, accomplish something uh, is, you know, if you don't have the education, it's kind of like, you know, if you only got a grade four education and you're trying to help your kid with high school geometry, it just, it doesn't work, okay? So, <clears throat> you know, Jane saw us. They're, they're a marvelous, absolute marvelous invention, great tool. Uh, but if you don't know how to use them, they could be pretty much useless and uh, potentially very dangerous. Uh, it is not unusual for people to get hurt using those things. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, you can wreck one in a heck of a hurry. You can do damage to one of those things in, in a very short order if you don't know what you're doing with it. And uh, they can take off digits or entire limbs in uh, you know less than a second. So. Uh, you know, horses, not a lot different really. If you don't know how they operate and understand them and know how to, how to deal them and how they're set up, uh, you're not going to have good luck with them. And, you know, worst case scenario, you might actually get hurt too. And, uh, you know, don't want that happening. So, 
you know, get some education, learn about it, you know, and, and I'm not saying just take riding instructions, because you know, honestly, uh, you can take a lot of riding instruction and still know nothing about horses. You might know how to ride, but you don't know anything about horses. What you need to do is, if at all possible, whoever trained the horse, uh, talk to them, learn what the horse knows, learn how the horse reacts to certain situations, because each one's different as well, so that always factors into it. And, uh, you know, learn how the horse behaves. So learn to understand the horse, learn to understand what the horse knows, so that you know what it knows, that'll make your life a whole lot easier, because the horse is not the only one that needs training, okay? Um, you could take a fine machine like a, a chainsaw, if you know how it works, you know how, how to use it, uh, great machine and skilled hands, man, those things are amazing tools, but if you don't know how, uh, it can hurt you or even kill you in a very, very short time. So. Uh, Take the time to understand horses uh, so you don't get hurt, okay? Have a good day.